Hi guys, welcome to this quick review of this cold soul optical wire meter tracer. The model type is AT338. It's a really interesting device. I've already tested it and I think this thing is really up to date, top notch with the latest functions as we can find them in such device, but it's really, really good. I've been talking to people who have experience with such devices on a professional level and they assured me that this is the best device which they have ever seen so far. So I don't have everything here. I don't have optical cable here and I don't have a router with power over Ethernet. But apart from that, I can show you pretty much everything. So here we have the two devices. What's important at the beginning, of course, to give a full charge. This one here is charged from below and this one here from the side. When it's charging, it shows a display. When it's not showing anything, then it's fully charged. So very convenient to have both rechargeable, so we don't have to be worried about batteries. Of course, we have to turn on both. Here we long press and it starts pretty fast. And here, same thing, and it's already on. Here we have a flashlight option. We just press, you can see, very easy. It's not super strong, but can be still pretty helpful. And so on this device, we have pretty much two functions. We have the power, the AC power detection. We can switch, you can see that here. Now we go close to AC power, or we don't even have to go really close. It finds it really easily. That's awesome. When we want to go back to the network scan, we just switch here. But we also have an Ethernet port down here to test such a cable. So we plug it in here on the main device and the other end on the scanner device. And then we use the count function, press OK. It has identified the cable. We click on OK and it's testing that. And so we get confirmation that everything is perfect. Every single one of these eight pins are connected to the right eight pins of this end here. Otherwise, it would look totally different. You can see some sample images here, how it could look when there are some problems. By the way, that's the instruction manual, which is really nice and describes all the functions and features in detail. After every function, we can go back here with this return button. And for example, let's do also the QC test. We click on OK for the QC test. It's not needed to connect it to the scanner. We get the OK for all the pins. By the way, the idea of this green arrow is to show where you have to plug in the cable. For example, you can see that here. Now it's not good. Now we get this green arrow here. So we know that we have to plug it in here and everything is okay already. That's awesome. So we have three ports here. We have one here, one here, one here, and we always get the green arrow where we have to add it based on the function. Super easy. The next thing is the length measurement. So we can measure the length of an Ethernet cable. So we go here, press OK, and so we can select what we have, CAT5 or CAT6, and we can choose between feet, meter, and yards. So I'm choosing meter here, and I have, uh, let's see what we have here. Usually on the wire, we can see what it is. We see CAT5. So we press OK again, go down to testing, press OK. And now you can see the green arrow is at a different place. So we have to push it here inside. So of course we have to start it again now. Press OK again. And now it's testing and it says 2.4 meters. I mean, it's not always super exact, but it gives you a really nice indication if it's a short cable or a long cable. By the way, this one is about 1.8 meters. So 2.4 meters is pretty close. And in the length measuring, as a surprise for me, we don't have to add this to the scanner. So we can leave the other end open and it still can measure the length. So as a comparison uh, here, I have a much longer cable and I test this as well. It's also CAT5. We press OK. We have to plug it in here and it gives us an estimated length of four meters. I don't know why it's bringing 
up this one here on the first two pins with zero meters. I had this with a couple of cables, but usually we can see the lengths here easily. So definitely huge difference between these two cables gives me a good indication what we have to trace or where the end could be. And then we have the scan function, which is super important when we have long cables, a lot of cables, maybe they lead to a very remote router where we have a lot of cables with a lot of plugs and we have to find the right one. So I have plugged it in here, click on scan. Now we have two different modes. We have the digital mode and the analog mode. And so we are here in the digital mode. We have two different modes. You can switch that here and it has to match the mode, the scan mode here on the right side. Unfortunately, I can't tell you how to switch the scan mode here. The only thing I can tell you is to use the scan button here. Then we are in the scan function and we also use the sensitivity. That's very important. But we do not only have to be careful between the digital mode and the analog mode. It's also important to add the Ethernet cable on top. We see the green arrow here. So for the scan, we have to add it on top. Otherwise, it won't work. Maybe now we can see the difference. When we hit the scan button, it changes the light a little bit. You can see that red. So probably when we have this blue light here, then it's uh, in the analog mode. And when we hit the scan button again, then it's in the digital mode with the red light. Yeah, it's a little bit difficult to see. But in case you can't find the wire, just hit the scan button again and it should work. You can see and it's super sensitive. When you are on the highest sensitivity, sometimes it can be enough when you are already like a couple of feet away from the wire. That's absolutely awesome. So I turn this down a little bit. So especially when we are close to the route, we have to reduce the sensitivity. So I'm trying again here. You can see that's the wire. And now we want to find the corresponding end at the router. We have the gray one here, not the blue one. Let's see if we can find the difference. We hold it here to the gray one. We get the feedback and we hold it to the blue one and it's not doing anything. With the gray one, again, it's reacting. So definitely huge difference. So we have proof that it's connected to this end here. Of course, the further away you are from this sender here, uh, you have to increase the sensitivity more and more. But super helpful function. Maybe let's try with the analog again. We switch to the analog. We hit the scan again. Yeah, you can hear that. Yeah, definitely not a digital signal. We can already hear that. That's in the analog mode. Okay, now we have both in the analog mode and also here at the end. Nothing on the blue one, but definitely the analog response at the gray one. Okay, super helpful. And of course, for the loud scanning function, it could be very useful to use these headphones, which are included in the set. We plug it just here. And when you are working at the customer side, where people, for example, are working in office, this could be super helpful to avoid any loud noise. By the way, we get also this scanning set here with these wires and also the charging cable USB-A to USB-C. Now we can turn this one off with a long press. We don't need this one anymore for the last function. And the last function which I want to show you is the flash. This is also a good function to find the other end of a long wire. So we confirm is OK. And we have to put it here on this side, obviously. Okay, and we see the green light and then we should see also green light. Let's see. I mean, here is this old router. We don't have uh, green lights here in the back, but we have them in the front. So let's see. Another thing is that the matching Ethernet port flashing in exactly same rhythm. Can you see that here? Green off. Green off. So we have definitely confirmation that it's number three. Let's check number three. And yeah, it's definitely this one here. So that is also a really, really nice function. So overall, absolutely awesome, 
also really good quality, uh, solid build, easy to use. So I can give you full recommendation. And so if you're interested, I'll put down the link to the Amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and order it right from there if you like it. And I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments, just write to the comment section below and I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.